Now, my last video, you saw me um, with all of my bits here. <laughs> Look at my pile. <laughs> it's okay. I sort of did everything how I wanted it. Now I have to take it off and I have to glue it. I did come back and I did make my red even smaller because my uh, my my uh, the cocks come here was sort of in the red and you really couldn't see it. So I wanted the him. I wanted that which this is not the this is not what it's going to be. Um, that's just my my um prototype there as it were um i wanted that on the black so you could actually really see it so now what i'm doing is i am just i'm i'm i'm, I'm really nicely um pleased with the arrangement here i did cut his breast off even a little bit more and he's really nice and standing tall as opposed to the shorter fat rooster that i started out with the pattern that i started out with so now i'm just going to use my my glue stick i've glued this down pretty much there just glued that down just on the edges just a little bit uh just coming like that just glue down this muslin i've already done the feet just a little bit i've already done in his uh his feathers back there and uh, just do that just a little bit that's it so I got to get a new glue stick. So, um, yeah, so now what I'm going to start doing, I'll just put that for reference uh, where that is. And now I'm just going to start. I've st I have cut out all of these lovely bits here of, of, my, of my plumage. And I can pretty much eyeball, um, you know, one after the other where I, where I want these, uh, this plumage to go um so as you saw it's not necessarily following that um this here um because we changed it up if you saw i'm doing this more high and then coming down uh that way this plumage here as opposed to um sort of going out i'm going up and up and down so i'm just going to start laying these out and then every few bits I will um every few bits I'll stop and I will glue on I pretty much pretty much know where these are going I'm alternating you saw you saw I had all different shades of of I have some green you saw I have different shades of um the feathers so as you can see I'll just keep alternating, um, cutting to cut a few more. But you see, his tail's going to go that way. And um, oh yeah, I'll be back. I'm, I'm cutting out pieces, and I am starting to glue my bits down. Um, as I was saying, I uh, I'm working uh, sort of with this with the uh trying to figure out the the under the, the the first pieces that go um like like this plume here went under the this here um and then i sort of tucked this these pieces in and as you can see i'm trying to at the end of the uh feathers here um i'm trying to sort of cut into them to make it more realistic i found this fabric here it was a, a, a like a gray and white, like a, a charcoal and a cream, I should say, print that it sort of like has like the underbelly, which has a little bit of light in it, as well as a, bit, a little bit of black that I'm going to put. I have to I have to find the gray for its feet yet. Now, this bit, the yellow and the golden and the orange feathers on the neck come over a stretch of red. And from my, uh, from, from a few uh, pieces I have of, of, uh, my, yeah, of um, layer cakes, I have these different reds. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out a sort of a feather shape with different color, with different uh, shades of red. And I'm just going to cut like little feather shapes out of them. So... When it's laying over, when it's laying over the blue, 
you'll be able to just a sliver as you can see and then I'll just sort of separate them like that so you can you can sort of see the uh, feather shape so I'm just going to put a hunk of just a little swipe of glue there and mm, a little bit so I'll just sort of separate that feather look there's a little bit of white there I'll go and I'll find another color I'll do the same thing just make a, a, a feather shape and cut out just slivers just slivers to make it like a ragged edge if you can see that just a sliver make it like a feather it's the little details like that as you can see to make it look like a feather. And then I'm building up, I'm building up to go that way. Um, here's a bit of red over here. So I'm just continuing, just scraps, I'm just continuing to do that. Oops. Uh, make a nice cut out there so it looks like a feathered end as you can see there's no real well, that feathers a bit too thick it looks like I'm overthinking this I'm not <laughs> I'm just just trying to um, build build the feathery I guess like an underbelly here well this is the underbelly but you see just to add a little bit more a little bit more dimension because there was a swathe of there was the blue belly underbelly and then the, the swathe of red going to the orange plume going to the uh, the other one so I'm just going to continue uh, doing little just different shades of red it it, it um you know, you think, oh, you know, why, why don't you just use the same red? It really does make the world of difference when you have just a shade off to get the shading um, m a little bit more realistic. So, again, that, I like that feather look. Yeah, I like that. And just add a touch of glue. <laughs> My glue stick's getting all over <laughs> Just add a touch of glue there. This is the glue is just really just to hold it until I can start sandwiching it. So you see what I'm doing? I'm building up. I'm building up this, and then all of these, and then the uh, the yellow and the golds are going to finish off by coming down over the red. You see that? So to have a real lovely red. Uh, a real lovely golden neck coming to the red and then going to the orange tail. So I'll just come continue doing this. I'm working on my rooster and I have everything pretty much down. I'm working on its head now and its feet. I pulled a gray and let me see if that's it. I, I pulled a gray and I, I don't love that. I don't know. I got to work on its feet. But I'm, I'm thrilled the way the, the, the um, plumage has come out. Um, I might have to add, just looking through it, it's funny when you look through a, uh, a viewfinder, I might have to have a few more golden bits over here um, to, to, to sort of meet up with that. And just because this red is more of like an under, uh, like an under color. So just might so have a few. That's a little bit of a, a um, shadow up here. I quite like that. Now, his, his neck or his face is, is sort of, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, so I, I've, I've, Elliot um, was saying that I had a whole bunch of beads here and, and when I was in my beading phase. And I just found this one. Um, but I think I'll have to get Elliot in there. That 
Now let me just see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. Can I make it a little bit bigger? Uh, no, I don't think I can. No, I can't. Can you see that? Let me just pull this down here. Let me just pull this down here. So, yeah. So I, that eye is a little bit big. Um, and I, I actually saw this. I saw this one. And it's sort of a, like a seed shaped. Quite like that one. And I, I think the, the beak, I just sort of stuck that on there. The beak has to be a little bit more beak-like. So that's more of like a peacock color. Um, Elliot was saying more of like a faceted, a faceted uh, bead. Uh, okay, this is when I was in my, oh, there's a square. This is when I was in my bead, my beading phase. <laughs> I made all sorts of jewelry. I have so much beading. Um, ah, now that's square. So I'll just try to find, well, there's a little one. What do you think of that one? Um, just round and ah here, here there might be no it's just no these are just um isn't it funny I have so many <laughs> I have so many beads and yet ah here here's a here's a it's too big though sort of faceted like he said but well it's too big or maybe not. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I have to. I have. I have so many more beading things. I think I. I think I like this one. I think I like that one, which is sort of like a seed shaped. I quite like that. What do you think of that one? And his coxcomb here, um, I don't love. So I have to, I like everything else. Uh, uh, it's all, it's, oops, there goes his eye. Um, it's all, I, I want to make his coxcomb a bit more textural. Um, like his, his, uh, his feathers. It's, it, it's very textured, as you can see. I worked very hard. I have to do his feet too, his legs. I don't know quite what I'm going to do, do with that. Um, but I really worked hard to, to just slice up these, these, uh, this plumage here to make it look like, um, feathers. So I have to sort out something here. Um, maybe, maybe even make, uh, maybe make, do sort of what I did here on the red. Um, cause that's the right red, but, uh, yeah, definitely I have to make some more sweeping gold here to match the orange there. Yeah. To, to finish this off. Funny when you look in, when you look through a, a viewfinder. So, so like this, this shape here, it's almost, it's almost done the, um, the, the gluing. So this shape here that I've cut type of thing, um, to just slice these feather feathers out. It's fun doing this. As you can see, not hard at all. Not hard at all. Yeah, that continues, yeah, continues there. So I'll glue that one and do one more there, um, yeah, to continue that, that plume. So, so there is my, there's my rooster. I haven't put his feet on yet, <laughs> on the red. Ah, oh, it's pretty, yeah. So, um, I'll be very careful when I'm doing this. Now I'm going to construct the border, like Elliot said, do something around the border, um, Maybe I'll even outline this in white. I may, 
I may um, blanket stitch this red with bright white to bring some relief to it instead of black. I think I might do that in white or like a cream or actually even a bright yellow, bright yellow. I might do a nice wide blanket stitch in a bright yellow on that red. So the red really pops away from my uh, my rooster. So, but I'll see. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. So thanks folks for following along. Um, this has been fun. Thanks. I'm still working on my rooster. Let me just get this in the frame here. I put, um, I've put a more like a golden uh, leg on him. I, I, I quite like it. The gray was horrible. It was just horrible. I, I walked away from it. It was horrible. As you can see, I put some more of the golden plumage and I went a little bit higher um, with his, with his uh, tail. And I might put a little bit more orange here, just looking at it through the, the viewfinder. Um, I may or may not. But I'm working on its head, which you know has been giving me a lot of trouble. And what I've, what I've done here... I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> I can always cut another one. Um, I, this, is the, this is the head, as you saw, that cartoony looking thing. And what I've done is I've just put a bunch of glue on this guy's head here. And I've, oh, <laughs> I've, um, I've cut up tiny, 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 tiny little pieces. You know, just taking a, just shreds, just shreds, literally, like just chopped it, tiny, 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 tiny little pieces like that. And out of two different colors, you can't really tell. I mean, yeah. And what I'm going to do, maybe, is is for this coxcomb to make it look a, a little bit more realistic. And I don't know if this is going to work. Sort of like, um, do this. <laughs> sort of like a, a feathery type uh, look. I don't know if this is going to work. Glue that on. Not, not too much. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, shouldn't put it on the beak. That's right. Um, so, I just sort of stick this on, and then I'll make um, defined marks up here. I don't know why I, th I thought of this, but let's get all of the little shreds here. I need to do it over there. I just thought maybe I would give it a little bit more texture. I was looking at it because it was very, very dead. Like I said, this is not, you know, you, you all saw my, my picture or the picture on, my, on the computer. This is not photorealistic, obviously, but the colors are, I think the colors are real pretty. Um, let me just grab this off here and just dump it. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I think I like that. I think I like the look that I'm I'm try I have to get a little bit more. So anyway, you, you, you get that. You get that? Yeah, it, it gives it a little bit. Let me just see if I can show you. Can you see that? Let's get out of shadow. It's giving it a little bit more texture, like feathers. I just don't want big pieces. I just want little pieces. I think I'm going to need a bit more. So let me just really sort of lay it down here. And see what that would look like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you see that? I probably can't see it. Let me see if I can get this. Let me see if I can get this a little bit closer. I'm lifting up my tripod. <laughs> Oops, there's my camera strap. So you see. Obviously, I have to fill it in a little bit more because there's the white showing, but it's it's giving it a, it's giving it texture. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty. So I'll keep working on that. The eye, the eye's driving me stupid. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to do with this eye. Um, but it that 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 I like. I like that. So I'm working. Oh, and there's the feet. I in fact, I might do a little bit of that look at that texture on its legs to because the, the feet are a little bit flat too um and i do think i will do a nice white blanket stitch to bring this um to bring the just a little bit this is the a little bit of white into here there's no white at all so i think i'm going to do a big thick the, the thickest 
thickest thread I have and the th widest blanket stitch so that that red pops like the red pops off of this white here um but but there it is it's it's pretty pretty good and I think I will do a little bit a few little sh shreddy feathers um I'll finish him up there and his uh cocks comb up there um manipulate those shreds up on the um to make it more pointy because I was looking that's what it has oh here um here is the beak I don't know if that is the right oh yeah that might look good I don't know if that's the right color beak yeah I think I think it is actually um, I do two layers of that because this this is only a one layer of of a fabric and the red is sort of grinning through I want the beak to be nice and pronounced anyway I'm still working on it so I'll be back I want to I want to uh, show you my progress of this <laughs> this thing on the top now, you might be thinking, well, how in the world are you going to sew that? The eye's not on yet. I can't see through the viewfinder. Yeah, the eye's not on that. But I'm, I'm, I think I like that bead. Yeah, I like that bead. And I did a double tan beak there. When I go to sew this on, when I go to go to the machine, obviously, these are pretty much glued down. All of these frays, all of those, oops, his eye, <laughs> all of his feathers. As I say that, they're not. But what I'll, I'll I will be, I will be um, showing you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be thread painting. I'm going to be stitching all that down, probably like up and down, up and down to with red thread. Um, so all of that shredded feathers are secured, um, and I'll be going, I'll filling these little white bits here with feather with um, stitching. Um, it's going to be highly stitched. Obviously, there's going to be lots of red free motion quilting and gold. I'll just do a lovely gold stitch all the way through the gold and then on the plumage I'll put bright blue obviously going the shape of his tail and the underbelly here I'll be doing a, a probably like a, a sapphire blue and then down to a black and you can see I put some of the shredded fabric on the legs and again once I once I secure that all down and make it you know, nice straight legs here with all of the shreds in it um, with with um, stitching, with gold stitching. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense, but it just gives it a little bit of texture. It just gives it a little bit of texture. So, other than the eye, which I, I, I'm, I, I like, I changed up the yellow. Um, and we, had had, we had had this one here that had a, a little bit of a, a little red dot in it but I just play I did it the color of the beak just the golden and the picture showed a very very small yellow and then a big black beady eye so I, I like that I like that I, that's it that's it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overthink it but there there's my rooster oh yeah oh yeah and that did not well you know you people won't believe it didn't take me long you saw I just cut out a bunch of fabrics this would be a great scrap a used a scrap uh quilt or, or fat quarters or charm squares I should say you should you could, you could just get a, a bunch of maybe primary color charm squares um and then a little bit of fat quarter bit of yardage look how big this is this is small this is uh 30 inches wide something like that um this bit here and then just a fat quarter for the, the the whatever whatever image you you want but you can see it didn't take that long um for me to do just to cut out these bits and then as I and as I was as I was going along the way um, to try to make it a little bit more uh, real. I can see it's funny how you can see through you th you see things through a, a viewfinder. This is like eh, I, w I just want to make one more orange bit here to like just a nice plume coming down. Um, and then that'll be it. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to just start working on the border. Um, but my rooster, I'm not going to do the eye. I'll do the eye at the last, the very last. Um, very last thing, um, but my my rooster is uh, is coming along, coming along. <laughs>